Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we have a major leak of features that are coming to iOS 13. So there is a report coming from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, which is a very trusted source when it comes to Apple stuff. So there are a lot of features that have been revealed that we can expect to see on iOS 13. So iOS 13, codenamed Yukon will bring a ton of new features. So according to this report, there will be a lot of changes with iOS 13. So here I have 10 features coming from this report that are coming to iOS 13. First of all, starting with the dark mode. Now we expect dark mode to come to iOS 13 and we have been asking for quite a long time now. So dark mode will be a black and gray heavy interface Optimize, of course for nighttime that will come to iOS 13 and you will be able to enable or disable it from the control center. Another feature coming to iOS 13 is a system-wide sleep mode. You will also be able to turn it on or off from the control center. So when you enable it from the control center, it will turn on the do not disturb mode, also will darken the lock screen and will also mute all the notifications. Also, we will get a more organized share sheet. So when you, whether you're in an app or you want to share a picture or anything, you tap on the share button, you get the share sheet that will be also more organized and probably redesigned. The report also says that there is a new feature also coming to the Safari app and we can expect iOS 13 to include a downloads manager for Safari and of course an updated files app that will work better with third-party software. Also, we will get new animations when opening and closing apps also when going to the app switcher. Also, something redesigned will be in the widgets panel as well. So from the home screen, when you swipe all the way to the left side, you get to the widgets panel that will be redesigned and will have a much cleaner look. On iOS 13, we will also get an update on the screen time feature. So Apple is including a new feature on screen time, which will let parents basically restrict which contacts their kids can contact during a period of time. So they can be able to restrict that and just choose a few contacts that they might want to let their kids contact and the other ones will be blocked during that certain time. On iMessage, we're also getting some updates with new iMessage on iOS 13. You will be able to set a profile picture. So you will get a profile picture for your iMessage and of course you will be able to choose whether you want someone to see it or not. You choose which contacts you want to see your profile picture or not. The Mail app is also getting an update on iOS 13 and you will be able now to mute certain threads and also you will be able to block contact. So any contact that you choose to block won't be able to send you an email. The Maps app is also getting an update. Now it will be easier to set frequent locations locations and also you will be able to create group of frequent places and also add a picture to that group. So these are 10 new features that are coming to iOS 13 that have been reported on Bloomberg. Hopefully we will see all of them. I believe we will because this is a very trusted source when it comes to Apple news. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.